My dear Aries, hello, how are you doing? Welcome to Savas Tarot, my name is Savas. This will be a reading for the month of June. We're gonna tap onto the current energy. Sorry if the crickets are loud, you guys. It's summertime, they're all out. Looking for a mate probably, I don't know. <laughs> Personal readings are being offered for the time being Aries. If you're interested, you can send me an email from the description box below and let's begin. For Aries. What does Aries need to know? Oh boy. <laughs> Let's just see here what is going on. Wheel of Fortune reverse, the Emperor, and at the bottom to take free. We have the Queen of Swords, the Three of Cups in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so let's just begin here. Firstly, Aries, I feel that you're being very persistent towards hardships right now within your life there's almost an energy of i won't give up i will stand tall no matter how difficult things are right now no matter how many answers i don't have yet to my questions i will stand tall and i will keep moving forward okay i don't know whether some of you in regards to love there's been a lot of complications or almost like mixed signal energy or maybe possibly even an ending but i feel like you're trying to stay grounded in regards to whatever kind of misfortune this is or maybe you kind of deem it as mis misfortune now you could be connecting with an earth sign strongly some of you fire energy strongly we have here too leo taurus aquarius scorpio cancer is here and you could be also connecting with another aries now i am seeing a lot of tension between you and energy I'm seeing a lot of tension, a lot of pent-up passion, a lot of repressed passion. So I definitely feel like this is a person you're not currently communicating with or just also speaking of a person that you were dating at a certain point, but then things maybe came to a halt, okay? Some of you, I feel like maybe within your last conversation with this person, you were very assertive. Or, I don't know, I feel like there was almost like a cut energy. Maybe you had like a cut off type of moment with a person you had to cut them off or you were the one kind of who walked away. You said what you wanted to say and then you walked away. I don't know, it's very assertive to me. It's like you didn't come across as des desperate or I almost wanted to say depressive, okay? So it's almost like, yeah, it's like you took your dignity and you said what you had to say and you kind of moved on, okay? So, I do feel like there is an energy here who's still kind of hung up on you here, Aries, but their energy feels to me very, almost like stubborn. This is also a person who would stick to what they, I just heard conservative. This person could be actually conservative or they could be into politics. If not, this is just a person who um, has a really hard time communicating their emotions to you, I feel, okay? They do have a lot of passion for you. And for a lot of you, there's almost this like battle of like power going on, you know, power dynamics. So I don't know whether you both are very strong and at a certain point you couldn't necessarily agree on something or just also speaking of two people that, um, yeah, it's like both of your energies maybe are fiery or it's like very overpowering. So maybe this person might have even gotten scared at a certain point because you came across as very powerful or hypnotizing or intimidating all right so i don't know what type of work you do but some of you i even feel like this person financially felt like you were doing better than them all right i don't know there's some like insecurity energy that's coming through that i definitely will tap onto um now in regards to your work I really see you getting back on track. Some of you, there's an energy of I'm here, I'm stronger than ever. Um, I see you really taking care of businesses, you know, not maybe just one, but I see you really being in your power for June. Some of you make sure you're not overworking yourself, okay? Um, I even feel like some of you could be distracting yourself with your work. It's like, maybe you're trying to get your mind off a person or a situation. It's like, you know what, I'm just gonna work because this is the most productive thing I could do anyways, you know? So yeah, just make sure you're not overworking yourself. Now, you're really handling a situation well. I keep wanting to tell you this. It's almost like you're seeing 
misfortunes as blessings. Maybe that's your advice here. That's what the spirit here wants for you to know. Everything that is not working out, allow it, you know, let it. Because there's something here with you not fighting against something, you allowing things to kind of fall um, where they should, if you get what I mean. And for a lot of you, there's almost this energy of you sticking to your own beliefs and to your own truth within a situation okay so i don't know again if a person disagreed with you if they wanted to make you compromise um, about something if they were trying to kind of like make you like convince you of something i don't know but your advice here is to really be assertive towards um, this person or this energy that you're connecting with or about your own beliefs and values now i'll definitely tap onto this so who's this person coming towards aries spirit who's this person this person really deems deems you yeah, as very strong very it's like you can take care of business i don't know why i keep hearing that maybe again it doesn't matter if you're female or male right it's just the energy of you are very independent and this person like yeah, maybe at certain points they felt like you were stronger than them. I keep getting that. So we're, we're going to see. <laughs> Who's this person coming towards Aries 40 month of June? Who's this person coming towards Aries 40 month of June spirit? Oh boy, yeah. So I see a person here still, again, holding on to you. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is a... This is a connection that really probably went far. Like for some of you, I almost feel like you felt like either you invested a lot in this relationship, Aries, or you felt like things were really going well, that you both were kind of reciprocal at a certain point, right? Or this is also speaking of um, spending a lot of quality time together, you know, wanting to kind of see something bloom between you two. So I definitely feel like um, everything was kind of going well, you know, but some of you either you... At a certain time, either you felt like this person was not necessarily focused on you. This is also speaking of something here that this person did that really get got you in your head. Or some of you, you could have also um, were thinking about whether this person was dealing with others or not. Okay, again, this is a very specific reading. You could have known them for three months to seven months. Some of you years, again, you take as it resonates. But this is someone who feels like... They're not done with you. I keep getting this energy, okay? Water, energy, strong earth as well. This is somebody who thinks that they're not done with you, that they still have things to say to you, okay? Now, I will tap onto their next actions if there will be any actions, and then we're going to do the outcome, all right? Is there anything this person wants to say? This person has a lot of passion for you. Gemini, Virgo, some of the Aries, strongly fire now. This person could have been also stalking you. Some of this person really is like wondering whether you're connecting with other people or not. I don't know why I keep getting. I don't know if you're having travel plans or if you're you're kind of like planning to do something. Maybe you just started up a business or you're just yeah. I keep getting like trip energy. Maybe this person like heard about you going on a trip or they saw something online about it. I don't know, but definitely this is somebody who's watching you. All right, they could, I wouldn't be surprised if this person's trying to manifest uh, you back, you two back, you know? So they've been really thinking about either you reaching out to them, about reaching out to you. There's a lot of reaching out energy here that's coming through. So I wouldn't be surprised if this person can actually do it at a certain point. Somebody within four weeks, this could be happening. I would even say that there's gonna be a very probably steamy meeting that you're gonna have. I don't know why I just heard that. Okay, so it could be that you two are going to be seeing each other and it's going to be very passionate. Cancer energy. This person does not like that you're silent, that you're not... Some of you, I, I don't know if at a certain point you just stopped investing into this or if you just stopped connecting with this person with the same energy. Like maybe you used to be really open to this person, right? And like very giving, very friendly. And then you stopped and it really like bothered this person. Like I feel like this person's uh, hot and bothered, honestly, <laughs> over you. That's the kind of energy I'm seeing. But um, 
This is a person who definitely does not want to get hurt. Like I, I keep getting this energy of shield in my head of like them wanting to protect themselves. So me, I even feel like it took them a long time to be able to actually open up to you intimately. Like I don't feel like this is the type of person who goes around sleeping with other people. Like I, I'm not getting that energy. I feel like this, this is a very reserved person in fact that I'm tapping onto. Again, it could be even shy. Like this person does not normally open up to people. But to you, they might have definitely opened up to you. Or at a certain point, they felt like they could fall for you. Could have been a new connection for most of you. Like, this could have been a new connection that kind of, like, fizzled out. Again, you take it as it resonates, though. Or it could be that while you were connecting with this person, there was a new connection coming into your life as well. So, yeah. So what's going to be the outcome, Spirit? What's going to be the outcome? I'm going to go with the same deck, and then we're going to use Oracle. What's going to be the outcome? for Aries and if there's any advice strong cancer energy Libra again two of uh, pentacles and the two of cups in reverse I feel like hmm could you tell me about the moon in reverse Pisces some of you could be connecting with or have it within the chart could you tell me about the moon in reverse I feel like this person's going to reach out to you. Look at that. The Magician, the Three Wands, and the Ace of Wands. So I definitely feel like, yeah. I feel like somebody's reaching out to you here through text, through call. I also am getting a meetup, you guys. I keep getting this. Like, there's somebody here who either wants to meet up with you within the next three to four weeks. I think I'm getting earlier. For some of you, it could be a week later. But I'm seeing actually that there's going to be, again, a passionate encounter here between you two. I don't see this as done. In fact, I feel like at a certain point, things are actually going to come onto the surface as much as they haven't been. All right. There, there just was a lot of repression between you two. Why do I keep getting this? Or this also is like, like the communication might have really sucked. You know, it's like there might have been a lot of mixed signals or insecurity I keep getting also, you know, I keep getting a lot of this energy. Yeah. Could you tell me about the justice in reverse? The full in reverse and the ten of wands. Somebody tried to move on from me, but they can't. Again, I, I keep seeing emotions. You know, it's like as much as this person wants to hide their feelings, they try to move on from you, but they can't. All right, is the message. Some of you, this person might have also been really scared to reach out to you for whatever reason. Aries, Gemini, energy, and water. But um, yeah, no, I definitely feel like there will be a form of confession for sure coming in. Now, is there any Oracle messages for our dear Aries? Is there any Oracle messages, any advice? Oop. I also feel like you're going to start to feel better emotionally or it's almost like some of you you're not stressed out about this as you used to be I feel like you're going to start to kind of like maybe be bothered less by this I don't know if you were bo bothered I don't know if you kind of like hurt you at a certain point the way this person kind of like acted or I just feel like you're less I don't want to say less emotional it's just like you're more carefree your energy more feels to me like yeah whatever you know whatever yeah, not obsessive. There we go. Yeah. I just feel like you're very focused on what do you have in front of you, you know, whether it be success, whether it be your work, whether it be people that are available to you. I just feel like, um, yeah, you don't, you don't get stuck on things that no longer work for you. So maybe for a lot of you, that is your advice to kind of shift your awareness towards people that are available to you or maybe even new love i feel like there could be coming in but yeah i, I see this person still being hum hung upon you though all right any other messages do we have any advice yeah it's like a person here is not done with you i don't know if again you cut this person off or they cut you off but then it's like it's like blocking and then unblocking type of energy you get what i mean it's like why why did i do that it's like somebody's regretting this or some of you 
Okay, I'll say I'm getting, yeah, again, this is not done. See, and the letter, yeah, there's gonna be communication. I'm getting goosebumps. There's gonna be communication. Some of you, I even feel like this time probably was needed for this person to actually realize how much you mattered to them. A lot of the times I say this and um, some readings I do say this. It's like sometimes you just gotta let people go to be able to like go and explore and discover things and see whether you actually have any kind of value to them or not, right? So it's the same kind of energy here. It's like somebody here feels like they want to come back to you because they felt the most safe with you or they felt the most nurtured and nourished with you, okay? So I'm getting letters, okay? I'm getting letters coming in 27th and 31st could be significant for some of you. 8th and 10th could be, you know, at somebody's date of birth maybe or a specific date coming up. Even 26th, okay, or 29th, 25th, all right. Um, what was I going to say? This person definitely has been thinking a lot about reaching out to you. I even feel like, like nobody makes them happy like you do. I keep getting this like romance energy, romantic feelings energy. It's like this person... Maybe you really shared good moments with this person, you know, you like went on a very nice trip together. I don't know, maybe you like had beautiful intimacy together. I don't know what it is, but it's like somebody here is definitely like, I can't replace this or, you know, why didn't it go anywhere? Somebody's just sad that they invested a lot in this and it kind of just like fell apart, you know? So that's probably why I feel like they could be coming back. Um, Letter C, F, N, S, Y, T, R, and L, as well as M could be significant. Someone could have two T's, M's, O's, Y's, as well as F's and S's within their name and G. Okay. I feel like it's going to make you happy. Again, I'm, I'm hearing that you're going to receive a message that's going to make you happy. For some of you, I also feel like... There's going to be more money coming in. I don't know if you've been having worries in regards to your money, but I keep hearing that there will be happiness in regards to your finances. This is also speaking of a change in finances, okay? So there could be a new income, perhaps, that you're going to be having. Did I say a letter B, too? Yeah, I'm seeing B as well. All right. Is there any angel messages for our dear... For our dear Aries spirit? Is there any angel messages... I'm really being called to go with the love message, so we're gonna go with that here for you, okay. I also see somebody's health imp improving, especially if you've been really worried about somebody's health. I don't know if it's you yourself or someone around you, perhaps like a family member. I see them getting way better, okay? I see them definitely recovering and feeling better. Yeah, somebody probably worked too hard or they kind of put too much pressure on themselves. But yeah, don't worry. I keep hearing, don't worry. If you have any worries, everything will be just fine. Doesn't matter if it's in regards to love, career. Definitely, I see everything improving for you specifically for summer. All right. Is there any other messages for our dear Aries that we have that Aries needs to know? Yeah, again, see, I feel like some of you, if there's been separation here, I don't know if you both kind of kept your options open or just also speaking of um, a person who was trying to move on from you, but they couldn't. <laughs> I keep seeing this. It's like this person tried to maybe like date around, but it just didn't work out because it wasn't the same. And they're going to be expressing, you know, their feelings here. Definitely. All right. I keep seeing this. Yeah, a lot of the times, like, you know, you got to be scared to lose something um, to realize how much is forced to you. I keep getting that message. All right. Is there any other messages for Aries? Let's pull out um, an angel message here for you. So in July, there could be communication as well. So we have seven of thought, which is seven of swords. Let's read this one. 
You've been confused about a situation in your life and now suddenly everything is completely clear to you. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend, or discovered on your own, it feels great to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. So yeah, some of you, I keep feeling like there's going to be a particular truth, whether you already found this out or this is something that's coming in. And I don't know if it was shocking to you, but I feel like it's almost like you're going to be viewing things differently after you after you receive this particular truth. And I feel like for a lot of you, this has to do with a person. This has to do with a connection. Maybe you're going to really see how somebody feels for you or the way somebody sees the connection that you have with them. There's just something with the energy of truth coming out. Somebody could be also from the air of dog, horse, or ox, as well as dragon and rooster, right? Or monkey as well, and tiger. Anyway, um, and this truth is going to be opening your eyes. And for a lot of you, keep getting like you're going to not, you're either not going to look at this person the same way, or it's like you're going to not be as, I don't know, I feel like there's something different. There's something different. It's like, after you know this truth, you're going to be starting to act differently or you're going to have a different type of mindset or you're going to maybe choose a different direction. I don't know what it is, but it's like you don't think the same way as you used to. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. But I'm not getting a negative energy with this, to be honest with you. I feel like it's actually very positive. Like you are opening your eyes to something and you're like, okay, now I know what to do. Okay, now I know um, what my next step is type of energy all right so this is all i have for you my dear aries almost a pisces i hope that this helps you um personal readings are being offered for a time being if interested in an email send this question box below i'm sending my kiss my warm embrace and my love and light take care and i'll see you next time bye bye honey